Hello friends, welcome to our channel and today we came up with the authentic Bengali recipe of prawn. This is curd prawn or in Bengali we call it doi chingri. This is a very delicious mouth watering and it's a very quick recipe as well. So you see it looks very delicious. So we'll tell you the recipe today and with uh, hot rice you can have it it will be awesome on your weekend so first we got prawns we got around 300 grams of prawns we got it cleaned from the market and then once more we cleaned it now we are marinating it with a little salt then turmeric powder and red chili powder so marinate it first and then you keep it for rest for around 10 minutes so you can see we have marinated it the prawn quantity depends on how much you know you want to make uh, we have got little uh, medium or more than medium large size only so you can get this kind of prawns this looks also very nice and it's very tasty next we are frying this prawn don't fry this prawn too much uh, just saute them for three four minutes that should be enough because if you fry them more it might get hard so we are using mustard oil for this cooking you can use any other oil next we are adding some red chilies in the same oil after taking out the prawn into another container you can see the moment you are start getting very nice smell you add other garam masalas like you can see alaichi then darchini and jeera we have added and we have added long also so next we are adding chopped onion so we have we used uh, two chopped onions here medium size and then we are adding one spoon of garlic so this garlic we have not tasted it we have just mashed it so it's a one tablespoon of mashed garlic and now we are gonna fry this so we'll fry this for some time till the you know till the uh, onion gets brown or transparent we'll fry this and next we shall be adding tomatoes into it so we are adding two medium sized tomato and then we are adding one tablespoon of ginger paste so this tomato ginger paste onion garlic everything we are gonna fry at this moment we have just added little bit of salt whatever you can see and then we are adding some more masalas so here we have added uh, turmeric powder we are gonna give this a very good mix now so let's mix it mix it mix it quickly mix it so this uh, this recipe is very simple as you can see like not too much things to add and not much masalas also it's a very uh, healthy recipe only and we have not used much oil so we are frying this so we need to fry this for around 10-15 minutes so we are keeping the flow uh, flame uh, low or low medium now make sure nothing gets burnt if it gets burnt that uh, food will not be very tasty so cook it with little patience and keep it uh, low or low medium flame now we are adding the remaining masala so one tablespoon of jeera powder one tablespoon of dhania powder one tablespoon of red chili powder this red chili powder is optional it's up to you whether you want but we want some red color so we are adding little bit more red chili powder next we are going to mix this uh, masala with the onion garlic tomato and all so give it a good mix and after that add curd so in this curd uh, the quantity is like a coffee mug kind of quantity uh, we have not added any water though but make sure there is no lumps so so that it doesn't have any lumps we have added the curd in a mixing jar and we have uh, ma make a fine paste so that you know it will not have any lumps so post that it had kind of a coffee mug kind of quantity so full of a coffee mug you can add so after adding it we have mixed it and you can see this is how the color is coming so color got changed at this moment we are adding all the prawns here so we have previously fried this prawns for three four minutes in a low flame so that you know we can add it at the later point so we are adding the prawns and mixing it 
now we will keep it uh, in low medium flame till the boil comes now the boil has come we need some more gravy so in the same mug and the mixing jar we have added some water where we had the curd and we have added that water here because we need some more gravy it's up to you whether you need gravy or not uh, how you like to have it with the rice based on that you add this if, it, if not you may want to skip that water also so now we'll again keep it for rest till it gets uh, boiled so now it got a very nice boil you can see we have covered it for some time and at the end we shall be garnishing it with coriander leaves so we have uh, added freshly chopped coriander leaves it will give very nice aroma so add the freshly chopped coriander leaves our uh, doi chingri or curd uh, prawn recipe is almost ready guys now and it is ready to be served with rice so with hot basmati rice you can have this it will be taste heavenly hope you liked our recipe guys and if you like please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching this video guys and please let us know in the comment section how this recipe was bye bye for now see you in a next video soon bye bye